Mega Arena. Well, since the release of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, there have been a few new of the Mega Pokemon released, and Mega Arena just happened to be one of them. Regarding the decision whether or not to make Arena a Mega Pokemon wasn't up to me, but I guess Game Freak figured, you know, it's popular, so why not just make it a Mega Evolution? It doesn't really have a baby Pokemon to it, it's just Arena, so what can you do with it? Well, for starters, it's pretty bulky. It is outrageous how bulky this girl is. She is very good. So, without further ado, let's start off with the EVs. Alright, in HP we got 164, defense we have 252, special attack 40, and 52 special defense. The reason is, it's already slow so you don't really need any investments in speed. Special attack you'll see on the upcoming, and defense, well, there are some, you know, steel and fighting Pokemon, I think. I think it does neutral. But yeah, she's gonna need defense, and her HP is out of this world, so we're just gonna take a little bit of advantage of that. Now her nature is bold, which raises defense and lowers attack. Audino isn't really the attacking type, considering she has more access to special attacks. So I figured, alright, just lower the attack, and you know, raise the defense, and also foul play. I mean, some people would do that out of random, but hey, whatever, it is it is what it is. Then we have Audinite. You need to put this on your Audino in order for it to Mega Evolve, much like other Mega Pokemon with an Ite at the end of it, if they can Mega Evolve and stuff. And when it Mega Evolves, it gets Healer. I don't know if you'd prefer your Audino at the start to have Regenerator, but it doesn't really matter to me. I just, it's here for one reason, and Healer is only really good for double battles, so why not? Alright, now for the moves. Calm Mind. This is where it comes in. Since we already have a really good amount of defense and health, we might as well cover the other base, Special Defense, which is done through Calm Mind and also special attack which is why it also has draining kiss because it's so bulky when things try to attack it it's not really going to be losing much and so as you're calming your mind and getting all those stats up you can just drain kiss and then you get all your health back and they're just going to have to deal with that there's nothing much there is a few there are a few things they can do maybe roar her out or haze or whatever but at, as of that point there's not much they can do flamethrower Kind of like my Sylveon set from a long time ago, I gave Sylveon Hidden Power Fire. Because Audino is a little better, because it's, it was originally a normal type and it can learn a whole bunch of TMs and stuff, Flamethrower is something that she has an advantage of. It can destroy Feral Thorns and tons of things, and it's really good to have. Skarmory's Beware. Hidden Power Ground. Or Psy Shock. The reason I say Hidden Power Ground is because outright I can tell you that Heatran walls this thing perfectly. There is nothing a Mega Audino can do against the Heatran unless you have Hidden Power Ground. Psy Shock is another option if, you know, you have a hard time breeding or having trouble to get Hidden Power Ground. That's just to cover your poison types, but mostly you better watch out for Heatran when this thing shows up. And now for the battle. So I send out my Audino against this Azumarill right here, but then he switches out, and he goes into Mega Sceptile, and I'm like, alright, I'll just Mega Evolve, and since I gained, uh, you know, Fairy type, Dragon Pulse is immune, and all that stuff, so I start calling mine. Focus Blast, oh it, yeah, Fighting does neutral, so Focus Blast doesn't really do much, because it's so bulky, and I keep setting up Calm Mind, because what else, is, <laughs> what else am I going to do? I could take a lot of hits, and that's my, usually after the third Calm Mind, you pretty much know where you're at, and I use Draining Kiss, and it's back at 100%, and then he uses player off and there's the crit. Now, had I not had those defensive investments because of a huge power adamant, most likely Azumarill, I, uh, Mega Audino might have died that time, so it's good to have. Then he, uh, he sends out Sylveon, Hyper Voice, I'm just going to keep using Draining Kiss, because I have no physical moves, sadly. And then he decides to switch, which I, don't ha I have no idea why, and then he goes into Skarmory, and I get some health back. But then I lose some because all, most Skarmory's have Rocky Helmet. And then I use Flamethrower and it's just completely roasted. So all the Steel types have to, you know, just sit there. And then he sends out his Thunderous and he Thunderwaves it. Not like it matters because she's already slow to begin with. Then I use Draining Kiss, once again gaining my health back. He uses Thunderbolt, it did absolutely nothing. So then I use Draining Kiss and the battle continues. And it would have kept on going. I don't know why he had a Citrus Berry on that. All right. Now for the other battle. That just that's just to show how bulky 
how bulky the uh, Mega Audino is. Now for the next battle. Send out my Audino. He sends out Electros. I'm like, alright. Pretty physical. I have Mega Evolve immediately. And I just start using Calm Mind. That's usually how my setup works. Then he uses Volt Switch. He gets out of there. He knows it's up. So I'm like, alright, fine. Go ahead. And he says, oh, and I'm like, oh, no. And then he has a Mega Deancey. I'm like, oh, no. And Diamond Storm missed, sadly. I mean... It is what it is. The accuracy is not great. I wouldn't really put Diamond Storm on a DNC either, anyway. Eh, I could make it special, but that's for another thing. So I set up all my Calm Minds and did about 37%. And I figured, oh, okay, I'll just Drain Kiss and my health comes back. So he's Diamond Storm again. This time it hits again. And he's Drain Kiss and now his Mega DNC is gone. So where's the Mega Pokemon at? You can't really do much. Then he sends out Heatran. This is where I said... Had I not put Hidden Power Ground on this Audino, I would have been here all day struggling. Heatran is completely... is a complete wall to it, even with the burn. But if I did not have Hidden Power Ground, I would have sat here all day struggling. And since Heatran's out the way, you know, I got a burned Audino. Sends out Garchomp, I'm like, alright, well, it's fine. Uses Earthquake, probably Max Attack, I don't know for sure. But Draining Kiss, and you know get a lot of health back because it's dragon rough skin the usual bit and then he does earthquake oh he forfeited well you get what i'm saying auto knows a really good wall and it's a really good offensive wall the only problem is it can be roared out hazed and heat trend unless you have hidden power ground but other than that i think it's a really good mega pokemon what about you guys do you have any other sets for mega auto know you can discuss it in the comments below and as always i'm oblivion guy and i'll catch you guys later